Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ohema Bonsu. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. For a very, very long time, every time I look in the mirror, I thought my head did not belong on my body. Like my head and my neck, you know, like they don't belong on my body or that my body belongs to a different head and neck. Like it's so weird. Okay, so this video is actually sponsored by Pure Cosmetics. Thank you so much, Pure Cosmetics, for sponsoring this video. And I'm also absolutely excited to announce to you guys that Pure Cosmetics and I have partnered up for the next few months to just show you guys, you know, what they got going on. You guys know we really appreciate them sponsoring this video and also sponsoring us for the next few months. But, right. you know, when you put on makeup, you can't really see your hands like next to everything unless like you do this or that, you know what I mean? So all that you see is that the head or the neck is, oh my God, this girl did her makeup and her neck is so much darker than her face or, oh my God, try to match your foundation to your neck. You know, like you see those comments online, especially if you're someone who actually posts pictures for other people to see you know what i mean so or even if like in your own house like you're doing your makeup and you know you finish and you look at the shade difference between your neck and your chest and you're like i just did my makeup how come my neck looks so much darker than you know my chest or my face i have actually noticed that this is an issue that affects a lot of us so yeah i got a few requests to go ahead and show how i balance my neck to my full face so i decided to go ahead and do a two-part video so this will be part one of me showing you one method of balancing your neck and your face and your chest makeup and then in another video that i will upload i'll show you another way that i go ahead and balance my neck and my face and my chest let's go ahead and jump into it so i'm priming with the milk makeup hydro grip primer okay because i really like how it feels on my face i like the you know like i like everything that happens when I have this primer on. I'm just keeping my hair back so you can see like the shade difference like really, really well. And I'm gonna do the powder before foundation method. So I'm just gonna apply some colorless powder to my face. I also like the way my foundation feels or looks after I have this on like this. So that's why I'm doing it. I really just like, I, I like it. I'm gonna use a DPN6 foundation from Pure Cosmetics, and this is the Love Your Selfie Foundation. It's a four-in-one foundation and concealer. And if you haven't yet seen my initial review on this foundation, I will post that down below in the description box. I also included a wear test in there for you guys to see. But this bottle actually also comes with an applicator and it also comes with a pump. So it's like a two-in-one bottle. So I am going to put a few pumps on my face. Actually, I think this is enough because last time I did, I used it. I'm pretty certain that I ended up using too much. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a Juno & Co sponge. Just tap it in. So the first method is to find a foundation that balances between my face and my neck shade. Okay, and I feel like this shade balances between my neck and my face shade really, really well. But the, every single time I put foundation on my face that matches really nicely, it almost always instantly makes my neck look significantly darker because my face and my chest are almost kind of balanced. But my chest, my but my neck doesn't because I haven't put any foundation on it yet, okay? But I'm gonna show you guys how I fix that. Okay guys, so you can see my neck and my chest are almost balanced. It's not the exact same. The perfect match for my chest in the Love Your Selfie Foundations is DPG3, and that's Deep Golden 3. And that matches my chest. I actually blended some right here. And I feel like it matches my sh my chest to the T. So DPG3 matches my chest really, really well. But DPN6 is the balance between my neck and my face shade because it is not really, really too bright. I can also use DPG6 as a shade. But today I use DPN6, okay? I'm not blending out the, cons the foundation to my neck. I'm just using the sponge. And just tapping that onto my neck because I'm not putting, I'm not applying a whole new pump or anything or foundation onto my neck. Okay, I'm just 
tap in the same sponge just to blend everything out i really really love the finish on this foundation it looks amazing i actually used it on someone over the weekend and they absolutely loved it like they came back and like they wanted to know the exact shade that i used on them so i'm taking the shade dpg4 and i'm going to use the applicator that comes in here to apply as my concealer Okay, so you will notice that I'm not using a concealer that is significantly lighter than the base that I put down, but I am using an undertone that matches my chest, okay? And this is the golden, because my chest is golden or more golden than my face, I always use a concealer that is golden, that way my face will balance out with my chest, okay? I only use a little bit because I always end up using too much. I'm going back in with a little bit more of that concealer shade. It moves so beautifully. Ooh. And right now I'm just tapping it. I'm not really applying any product on my neck. I don't know how else to explain. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go in with DPG3, Stella Golden, and I'm just going to put that directly. I'm just blending that directly in my inner corner. It's not going anywhere. My neck won't let me be great. Like, if it wasn't for that, like, this blend is so pretty, you know? Like right now, my face matches my chest perfectly, right? Um, remember I used a shade that was a good balance between my face and my chest shade. And then I went ahead and brightened it up with some concealer that is the exact undertone of my chest. That way it doesn't end up looking too off. So I'm going to take my setting powder and I like to use the Ben Nye setting powder. You guys know that. Seven old days in my passenger seat. You're not even driving me crazy. Yeah, we stay really I don't have no brows right now, so I look a little bit like an amphibian. <laughs> what I normally do at this point after I have powdered my face is to take my setting powder because I feel like it's the perfect shade to help balance everything out. I apply the setting powder to my neck. Okay. Now I do it this way because the setting powder lightens my neck a little bit. So I just apply some of the powder to my neck and I blend it out. And I do this if I feel like my chest is going to be showing in whatever shirt I'm wearing and I don't want that shade disparity to stand out too much. I do it like this, especially if my face balances out with my chest a lot more than if I do my other method, which is a different way of doing my foundation routine that helps balances out my neck. Okay, so in this method, I apply setting powder to my neck. So at this point, do you see how my neck is not like ex extremely too dark compared to before I applied my setting powder? How it looks right now, it doesn't look too dark. It balances my face perfectly, if you can see. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, finish my eyes, and... Okay guys, so I went ahead and changed my lip option because I don't like the option that I ended up with the first time. But yeah, this is the finished look. There's hair catching on my lashes. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the tips that I gave you on balancing your face and your neck to your chest. If you happen to have my problem where you have a different shade on your face and your neck and a different shade on your chest. Okay, you guys, let me also know what your tips are for balancing your face and your neck to your chest when you do your full face routines. To recap, I use the foundation in the shade DPN6 as my foundation and I use the shades DPG4 and DPG3 as my concealer. I am still in love with how this foundation looks. I am still in love with how it applies. If you haven't yet tried it, 
I have the video of me reviewing it down below in the description box. So go ahead, check it out. Also, they have samples that you can order to see if it matches you to see if you like the foundation. The samples are usually $10. They're also having a sale where you can get three samples for $20. Okay, so head over to the website and check out the foundations. Get a few samples, see if you like it. And if you do like it, come back and let me know down below in the comments what your shade is and what you like about the foundation, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.